you smelling today? Okay, so I'm going to start. I'm going to do my makeup, but I want to do my makeup with new products. So this is for your body, right? Um, this is a little bit sticky. It kind of feels a little like Vaseline, if I'm completely honest. But I never use this under my foundation. So I want to do that. I'm only going to use it. Look at the consistency. This is Patrick Ta. She is, she's glossy, okay? And I'm going to put this all on my high points right here. Then over here. I don't know how this is going to work. Hopefully it doesn't like clog my pores. But yeah, I'm going to do always use. This is ABH in the shade uh, Magic Touch Concealer. It looks like this. I always wear it. And I'm going to go ahead and put it. It's going to be a full face of makeup, you guys. This is my best friend. This is Fenty Beauty. And this is a cream stick in the color uh, Truffle. In the shade Truffle. So I like to blend it upwards like this. I'm wearing my Faja. You guys want to see? Ow! Look. This is like a closer view of my of my Fajita. Let me show you guys exactly how it looks. Like that. Yeah. I'm like touching, you know, because it has a hole. Now you want to go ahead and blend your found your concealer like this. But in my childhood, I used to see things. Um, I saw dead people. <laughs> I really did. I didn't like that. So, uh, you know how there's some people that look for it. They play the Ouija board and they play stuff like that. I didn't want that in my life because I was really scared. And now I'm going to go in with Rare Beauty Happy. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Remember that we're going to go in with um, foundation. Okay, I've been using this foundation, Makeup Forever, in the shade 3N42. Makeup Forever 3N42. I don't know if I love it. You know what I mean? Because it's very oily. So if you have dry skin, this is perfect for you. But if you have oily skin, I have a mix. I'm not either oily or or dry. Uh, duh, a mix, right? A mixed skin. But if you are very oily, I don't know, boo-boo. Because sometimes I don't want to set my makeup super heavy. So my lights in front of me, my mirror, has light bulbs. I think they're going to go out. Because they keep, like, flashing and stuff like that. But you guys, when my dad had just passed away, my TV turned on, um, my lights turned on. Actually, in one of the videos that I'm filming, my TV turns on by itself. It could be something else, but my TV has never turned on by itself. It's just like, okay. So um, a lot of people don't believe in that, but... I'm not saying it was my dad. I'm not saying that, you know, but weird things were happening. One day I woke up in the middle of the night and I felt a strong presence and I felt like it was my dad, but I'm not that type of girl that I blame stuff on. I don't know. I don't know. It was just weird. See, I'm that type of woman who always finds explanation for things. Although sometimes things are so obvious, um, I would always I always find explanation for things. And for most of the time, I find why that happened. But there's sometimes that I have gone through stuff that I'm just like, bitch, like, what the fuck did did just what the fuck just happened? And honestly, when I used to be small or in my childhood, I saw a lot of spirits and they were always scaring me like i know you guys are probably gonna be like bitch whatever if you don't believe it you, you know here's the thing you have to respect other people's um thoughts and stuff like that like there's people that have seen ufos right and there's people like me that have never seen a ufo how can i tell them no you're lying just because i've never seen it you know what i mean that's the same thing with spirits uh 
you can't knock it until you see something. Now, most of the time, I'm going to be honest, most of the time, people exaggerate the reality. But what if you don't? You know, what if you don't exaggerate the reality? Does that mean it doesn't exist just because you haven't seen him? So what I'm trying to say is just that in my childhood, I saw a lot of things that I didn't want to see, right? And a lot of people get stuck and get they stay there because it's something like unusual. It's so scary. First of all, it's super scary. And that's why I didn't want part of that. So I never went to terror readings. I've never done things that I'm not supposed to because I feel like I can open a portal that I don't want to. I don't want to because that, that shit's scary, you guys. Uh, they used to scare me so bad. And yeah, so I have an aunt, right? And my aunt, let me talk. Let me tell you, let me tell you guys, cheese me. My aunt was always into that stuff. Like she, my mom says that it, uh, when my aunt was small, she used to see spirits and she used to be so sm like she was small so there was no reason for her lying and she would be like oh my grandma just passed in front of me my mom can tell you guys a story anyways to make the story short my aunt grew up and she played the ouija board she did so many inappropriate things that when you would go to my aunt's house you guys you can feel a darkness around her tell us that she would see how little like she had little cards in front of her tv and they would just like fly off me on the other hand i want and i don't want any part of that so i stay away from it but still sometimes i see things that i don't want to see but i but not to the point that that i see ghosts anymore or spirits not ghosts but spirits i don't see i don't see them no more but there's things that happen that i'm just like what the fuck what is that you know and I look for explanations and I look for shit to be like, okay, that's why this happened. But there's some times that I didn't. Like I said, and there's a video here on my channel. I hope, I don't know which one it is anymore. But if I can find it, I'll link it. And you can just see my TV that turns on. But how's the skin looking? Hmm. I like it. I'm going to go in a little bit with more. You know what? I recommend these so much. If you would like, um, if you like cream things, cream-based products or cream-based uh, makeup, I recommend these like 100% baby. One thing that's trending right now is going up. So go up almost to your uh, under eye like this, okay? Love. Okay, now I'm gonna use my Huda powder and this is in the shade Cupcake. Put your powder right there, right here, right here. And then, when this is a little bit lighter, it's a little bit more pinker. But with this one, Huda Beauty, banana bread, uh, you're set with this one, okay? Don't feel like you need all of the products I'm using for your face to look like that. You can do the same shit. And look what I do, okay? Then I'm gonna put this right here. I'm gonna set it like this completely natural i'm saggy i got saggy ass titties i have some loose skin on my stomach i got the cellulite i got the stretch marks i got everything okay don't think ah, none of you said i don't think so but i'm just telling you guys you know i'm just being honest whatever i'm a real woman over here now i'm gonna use my bronzer and that is from gucci and you're just gonna tap Tap, tap, tap. This is in the, sh oh, this is in the shade uh, Eclat Soleil, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it off. Now I'm gonna play a little bit with Rose Quartz. I haven't used this palette in quite some time. I'm gonna use um this shade right here. It's no something, as I'm filming this, I remember this guy that threw eggs. <laughs> oh my God, this, this man was, crazy so i told him okay i'm just gonna resume like tell you guys real quick but um if you guys want a full story time let me know and then i'll do a, a full story time but i broke up with him right and we weren't even dating we were just like 
this is a long time ago. I was like 20. I don't know. I was so young. But I was like, you know what? Like, yeah, I don't like you no more. Like, I don't want to see you no more ni nada. Bitch, tell me why I woke up and my whole house was egged. Yeah. Not only that, though. Not only that. He he did some crazy ass shit that um, just came to me. Uh, it, with violence and pam, pam, pam. Ya tu sabes. Yeah. Let me know if you guys want to hear that story, okay? I, I, I got some stories for life. Now I'm a little indecisive. I think I want to use this one. Look at the glitter. This one, this one's super glossy. This one's glossy. This one's glossy too. I think, uh, let's see. Let's try, let's try this one. This one. Look at all that fallout though. Can you see? Oh, fuck. So even with your finger, when you apply with your finger, the fallout is crazy. I've used this palette before and I completely forgot the fallout. But just go ahead and swipe it off like this, okay? I'm using this one for under my eyes. I'm using this one for the high, for my highlight. Okay, so don't waste this product, right? I mean, unless you want to. Go ahead and go like this. Put it in there, okay? Well but what you do what i do is i grab this little brush and then i just put all the product back in there so i'm not wasting it because i see a lot of people that waste their product i'm like bitch like you can re like you can save that you know what i mean don't throw it away okay so for lip liner i used um my sandy beige from huda and i kind of want to wear fussy from uh fenty so Fussy lip gloss, let's see how it looks. Nice, I'm gonna do my hair, then I'll come back. Okay, you guys, so this is the Skims dupe, the one I was talking about. Um, obviously, I'm wearing a waist trainer if I were you, I would not wear it with the waist trainer, um, but this is how the little dress looks. Look at it, it's so cute. It's like, it's a little mermaid dress. Not a waist trainer, it's, the, it's a, the Faja Colombiana. I'm back on it again, but yeah, that's how this looks. Oh, you guys wanna see a hidden talent I have? Ready? <laughs> Catfish! Wearing um, Gucci Flora today. Yeah, yeah. This is the finished look, you guys. I did my little hair like this. And yeah, now I'm gonna go ahead and film a video of my fragrances. Yes, boo boo. I'm gonna take the straps down from my um, waist trainer when I'm filming my video. So it doesn't look tacky yet, so I'm gonna go, my, I'm gonna go film my video and I'll see you guys back. In back to reality, this is what I'm really wearing. So I, I ended up taking off my faja. I heard it's not good to wear the uh, your faja for a long time. I used to wear it for a really long time. But now I have to fold some laundry. It is raining. Remember I told you guys? Oh my God, you guys have to see. The, well, can I can't show you. Can I? Oh, it's raining so nice. So it's been so many days that it wants to rain and it doesn't rain. Uh, I'm just waiting for my baby to, um, for her to wake up so we can go to McDonald's because they've been helping me out a lot. Ever since I've been filming, they've been helping me out so much. But oh my goodness, it's raining like crazy, you guys. Okay, you guys, so I just came from the mail and I have something super exciting. Hi, baby. She's looking at me like, anyways, it's right here. You see right there, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show it to you guys right now, okay? So, let's go. So, I'm gonna open it, woo, woo. Oh my gosh, you guys. So, I got Versace Arrows Pour Femme. It doesn't come with the cap because I got a tester. <gasps> you guys, yeah. This, this one's good, this one's good, good. It's fruity, a juicy, oh my gosh. You know, it kind of reminds me a little of um, Chanel, 
the other uh, tendre that's the one i have hi baby hi hi mi amor hi sometimes when when i'm like filming so much i'm just like i kind of feel bad because she's just like she wants me to look at her and pay attention to her but i just got done editing my uh perfume video so you guys go watch my stuff please because it takes a lot of work especially for a, a mama like me so yeah go watch me boo boo shit anyways it smells like gummy bear it really does but like the white gummy bears and i've heard this before y'all do not get the parfum oh i sound so annoying when i say the parfum but don't get the perfume get the toilet look at my little hair oh and then look at my eyelashes okay i didn't put them on the top don't mind that okay i put them underneath like in there i suggest that you guys do that nana come here smell my perfume smell good it smells good she's my my little critic she'll be like hell nah hi hi huh It smells good, huh? The other one doesn't. You guys, I haven't even returned the other one. But yeah, today's a chill day. I don't feel like doing shit. Texture on your skin, on your face is very normal. It's, yeah, it's very normal, okay? So I don't use filters. I don't use none of that. I'm, I'm natural like this, so obviously. But I do notice that I have like these little dots right here, you know? It doesn't bother me, but I'm just like, could that be fungal? <laughs> could that be acne fungal or is, this, is that just normal? Because I never even noticed that. I'm outside enjoying the rain, you guys. on me patron on ice okay you guys so we're on our way to mcdonald's as i promised my little guas and all the guas <laughs> and um maybe me and uh my hubby w boo boo we're gonna eat some in and out but it is beautiful outside one reason why our lake is drying up is because we don't have enough rain like we barely get any rain here in vegas but right now baby it's looking like new york does it rain a lot in new york i want to i want to go uh, see new york i want to go visit new york and you best believe i'm gonna be using the mcdonald's app mm -hmm. and you guys see that yeah i just saw a light and i'm almost seven So I had to let you guys go because I had to get the deal. You know, when you give the code. Your makeup is so pretty. Oh, thank you. Have a good one. You too. So all I get you guys is um, six piece chicken. All I get is six piece chicken nuggets for the ghouls. For the ghouls. And um, I get them two cheeseburgers. And then I eat, I, I get extra fries on their, um, I get extra fries on their Happy Meal, and then I eat some. Cause, why not? Hello. Mm. The way of the entrance of this of this McDonald's is whack as hell. I always have to wait for the other car to go because they're always blocking it. Oh, he's moving for me. Oh, he's so sweet. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mom, you think he heard you? Yeah, he saw me. He saw he sees my my thank you. People can read that. Then I'm driving in the parking lot. Mmm. Oh my god. You guys. And then I'm complaining because, cause what? 
Okay, that's enough. I had enough. <laughs> and who does that, you guys? Okay, so my two girls, you guys, they go on the weekends with their dad, right? And their dad is always hanging around. I remember he has friends, whatever. Okay, and the friends have kids. Guess what? Can you guys guess? No? Okay, let me tell you. My girls, they got lice. Sit down and put your seatbelt on. Comes and I see her scratching, and I'm just like, they never scratch her, their head, right? So I'm just like, oh, that sounds like suspicious. That looks suspicious activity. So then she scratches, and then I forget, right? And then I see the other one scratching her head. And I'm just like, oh, hell fucking no. Like, what the fuck? You know? Like, what the fuck? So then, anyways, I take them to the bathroom. I start checking their hair. And I start brushing their hairs, their hair, with a little, a little lice brush because they've had lice before when they used to go to school they got lice one time so i had it i saved it whatever so i'm i'm like brushing their hair and i see a a, a lice a piojo i think i'm gonna do a video of uh, me taking off their piojos anyways that's gonna be in another video but oh my gosh so the big one ended up with um i took three piojos out from her like big piojos i took three of them out the second one excuse me the other one her sister she only had two piojos adeline the the one with the blue eyes she had one piojo it was like you know coming so anyways i caught it on time and i killed him really fast um can you imagine i even checked the baby i was like oh hell fucking no so then i called their dad and i was like yo my girls got piojos like you better buy a repelente so i'm gonna take out all their piojos because they were barely nesting or whatever baby i'm a pro at this already like when they were in school and they got piojos i got rid of those in a heartbeat so yeah i was like you better buy a, a repellent or whatever that is for them not to like the piojo smell it the lice smells it and they, they don't want to be in, in there. Anyways, long story short, they don't have no piojos no more. I think about those moms that they hide that their kids have lice. And then they let you, their kids play with, with other kids and then they get full of lice. Like, uh-uh, that's wrong. First of all, you got to be on top of your kids. If you see them scratching their head, me scratching my head, right? If you see them scratching their head, baby, you better be on top of that. And it's easy to get rid of lice. You just have to be... Uh, constant and clean that's it yeah. but thankfully my kid they don't create lice like that like um or maybe i catch them on time i don't know no i don't there was this one time right that my daughter the oldest one she kept scratching her head and i was a new mom she was so full of lice you guys and then after that i i was even crying for real i was crying i was like oh my god this is so hard parenting is so hard i was literally crying <laughs> so you guys we ended up coming to pollo culiacan this is grilled chicken we didn't want no um other one but this is super good this chicken is super good you guys are gonna see us eating it in la casita it's um yeah it's super good chicken All right, y'all, so now let's go ahead and eat. This food is delicious. Well, sometimes. Sometimes it's a hit and sometimes it's a miss. So it comes with cebollitas, aguacate or fake aguacate, guacamole, actually. Some salsita. Pico de gallo. Pico de gallo. Uh, little macaroni salad. Macaroni salad. You like macaroni mm -hmm. salad? A little bit. Mmm. And beans. Some beans. What else? Limoncito. And some salsa. Some spicy sauce. Some spicy. Oh, and of course, some tortillas. So. 
Bon Appetito. Mm -hmm. How do you feel being filmed while we're eating, baby? You like it? Is this is this your calling? No. Huh? I'm feeling nervous. You feel nervous? Why? No. You think people are gonna judge the way you eat, baby? I don't have that many views for people to judge us yet. No, pero este que se te salga un pedazo de la boca o. Mmm. El bocado. Mmm, mm, that's spicy. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. Es más picoso eso, habanero. Mmm. Mmm. The pechuga is a little dry. <clears throat> do you guys want to see us do a um a video on Mediterranean? No, was it what? What is it called, baby? Indian. Mm hmm. Mmm. On um, Indian snacks. Let me know in let me know in the comments if you guys want to see that. In we have a store like right around the corner, like super close. And they have everything from yeah. India. Yeah, they have everything from in, from from La India. You guys know something? What do you think about Indian food, baby? That's good. I like it because it's almost similar to Mexican. Yeah, that's exactly what I was gonna, what I was gonna say. It's very similar to our food. They use spices and all. I should have done a video just on that thing. Hmm. Hi, baby. Yep. The moon is the Smell me, baby. Mm, it smells delicious, baby. Mm, but you didn't comment anything when you when you saw me. Hey, you were smelling the food that McDonald's. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. Mm. Mm. Bitch you. Mmm. <laughs> okay. So you guys want to use some sometimes out, right? Like you get tired of cooking and you're watching what you're eating. Go and get some pollo asado. Um, when I was, when I had my gallbladder problem, all I ate was pollo asado, huh, baby? When I wanted food from out. Yeah. Chicken breast. Mm-hmm. Tell them what I was eating. You want some, baby? We eat chicken breast. And... Uh, that's it. So chicken breast, or no anything else. That's deadly. Yeah. Mm. It's spicy. Ooh. Mm. Mm. It's spicy, man. Mhm. Mm mmm. -hmm. Mm. You will eat um. Chicken breast and and uh, air fryer uh, vegetables with uh, salmon. Mm hmm. Mm. And then, as soon as I had the baby, my gallbladder pain stopped. And then I went wild. I didn't want to see. After I had the baby, I haven't had. Why well, have I've had a green juice here and there, but not like I used to because I used to live off of. I used to live off of green juices. Not no more. Like, now I can't even, like, drink a green juice because I had so many of them. But he was my little chef, huh, baby? What would you cook for me? Tell them. Mm. Chicken breast in the air fryer with veggies and salmon with veggies and the air fryer. Baby, it seems like you're being forced to eat. No. He's the one that loves the mukbangs. He's he was always like, "Do mukbang, baby. Eat, eat, eat. Eat on camera. Let's eat on camera." I'm like, I'm just to spice it up right now. He's not. He he's usually not like this though. He's really funny. No, no, get Sophia. Thank you. He's a funny guy, but right now he's nervous. So entiendalo, entiendalo. 
I'm not. What happened with, if people don't like when you eat with your hands? Like we're eating with our hands? It's okay. Mmm. That's good. We eat in Mexican way. Mexicans mm -hmm. eat with our hands. <sighs> How cool. Hindu people, they eat with their, with their fingers. Mm-hmm. We need to call the... Oh, I was telling them about um, when my dad died, que se prendió la tele, that the TV turned on, the picture frame almost fell, and yeah. I told them that I got it on camera. Wait, baby, let's see. Let's, let's think about this. What other way could the TV have turned on? I'm not saying it was my dad. I'm not saying that. But I'm just saying like a lot of occ occurrences happen. It was only somebody would connect to the YouTube because we have a smart TV. Mm -hmm. But there was nobody else. It was only you. Mm -hmm. It was only me. Yeah, so you didn't, you didn't connect to the YouTube. Mm -hmm. you were what wild. video was that? Do you remember what video it was? No, I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember what video it was either. But anyways, a lot of strange occurrences or whatever, whatever happened around those times. But I feel in my heart that that wasn't my dad. I really don't. Do you think it was like someone like, I don't know. I don't think my dad had any. First of all, me and my, my dad and I, we did not talk. I don't think he had any business like, you know, I was going to the hospital a lot. So what if by going to the hospital, I would bring things to my casa? I don't think so. There's a whole story that I can do on all of that. Like, there's like a lot that I can do. But, mm, mm, what, baby? Mm -hmm. What? Yeah, we can make a video overseas on, uh, maybe there's happening something weird right here in the house. No, I don't think anything happened in this house. Mm -hmm. Now, the, I used to live in a house that was haunted, like straight up haunted. Oh my gosh. I want to tell, okay, I'm going to start telling my, my, my paranormal, paranormal activity when I. Paranormal encounters. Who is it? Yeah. Oh, we should do a video of the par paranormal encounters, huh? <laughs> yeah. You have paranormal encounters too, baby? Yeah, when I was little. And when I was older too. Mm -hmm. This is just because, you know, people, bad, bad people live in houses. Mm -hmm. And they leave their, their sense. They leave their, yeah. All this in their sense, their, their mm -hmm. negativity in there. So they're, uh, when they move out, they still leave it in there. And you can still see stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's only for people that believe it because people that don't believe they can say, oh, it was just maybe our move or there's something movements they come by yourself. But, you know, if you believe in stuff like that, you know, things can start showing in front of you, you know? Yeah. Okay, now we're being bad. Ching! Mm -hmm. What is this called? Canelones. Canelones. So now we're getting some canelones. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Bad. Anyways, shout out, shout out, baby. <laughs> and the shout out goes to to who, baby? Idalta. I don't know if I'm saying her name right. Your name right. Idalta, Idalta. I see you, boo boo. My mouth is all watering. I see you, boo boo. I see you. All right, you guys. So that's going to be the it for this video. Mm -hmm. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> Get my baby. See you in the next one. Mm hmm. Besitos a ti. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel like chemistry.